so we are on at least three. Or what were some of the points that we said we wanted to include? I kind of want to get those onto the board so we don't miss. One was we thought that our minimum wage should be a living wage, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Was there a couple other points that people had said that it was like, yeah, that's good, that's good? Because yeah. yeah. I want to make sure we get those and don't miss those when we get our set numbers, sure. yeah. our statements. Done. Yeah. I think we discussed the fact that a living wage is different depending on if yeah. you're in Lake Troy or Moscow or something like that. Yeah. And so um, regional, 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 uh, regional, regional, regional living wage. Do we want to suggest an index to use to set the living wage, like the MIT? No. I mean, if that's who produced this. That's who produced that one, and then there was the United Way that did the Alice report, and they both were very similar in what their what their um, conclusions were for the uh, living wage. So. Um, average or just one or the other? I, I don't know what the right thing is. I yeah. know. Do we need to say living wage as determined by blah, 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 or do we just say living wage in Idaho? Because well, we're, we're dealing with minimum wage right now. Yeah, yeah. Not living wage. We'd like to see them approach each other, or at yeah. least minimum did wage I, approach I, Did I misspeak? Um, I said if, instead of defining where we get the definition of living wage, um, we say living wage for Idaho. Well, I think there, I, our idea behind that was whatever the minimum wage is and wherever it is, it should be the equivalent of a living wage. Oh, sure. And not talk about Boise or Moscow or anything specific, but just when you're considering what the minimum wage is, Wherever it is, it should be a living wage. I mean, I think that was the uh, yeah. Um, and as far as defining what the um, <clears throat> what the where we get our living or our uh, living wage from, I'm not smart enough to know that. Do you, Judy? Do you have something to say? About that? I was just going to back that up by saying that if you're going to link the minimum the minimum wage, if you're going to index it, you want it linked to some index that is updated regularly, like at least every year. Many living, living wage studies are only updated every three or four years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that question is written fairly generally. Mm -hmm. So I think we do want it linked to something, and we want it linked to something that is updated frequently. And perhaps maybe we keep our consensus comment just as general as that, that yeah. we want it linked to something that is... Yeah. Um, so we want it linked. Well, that would be question four. Link to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but just to answer know. question three, you'd say yes, we want a minimum wage in Idaho. That's what the question yeah. is asking. Yes, we yeah. should raise it. Oh, raise it. Raise it. Raise it. Yeah. Then you can go on and narrow it down to more specifics to you get to number five, which was allowing local municipalities to change. Does anyone disagree with that? I agree with that, but since Sue has written this down there, I would add more than just uh, you know, regularly updated. I would say um, scientifically valid and, re and reliable or defensible because if we have state or federal studies that are alternate facts based, oh, then I think we all agree. Okay, so we're discussing number four right now, right? So I think I'm just putting put points up here. I'm just putting points up here. I'm just putting points up here. I'm just putting points up here. So that is scientifically, scientifically valid. valid and updated at least annually. Yeah. That's kind of a big umbrella. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, good point. Yeah. So if we get our points up here, we can get sentences together. Yeah. One point that doesn't no, really fall in either of those four categories is the fact of uh, the age that we're talking about. Washington's new minimum wage, which was what, $11 and something, went into effect the first of this year, I believe covers people 18 and over. I do not know what, the, what people younger than 18 cover, but if you're trying to move toward making the minimum wage living wage, well, that may not be true for the person who's 15 or 16. Well, currently in Idaho, 
Oh, no, that was in the other study. Let me find that. So there's something in that minimum wage myth busters that talk about, talks about younger workers. Mm -hmm. And so it does give some options to control for teens who have part-time summer jobs or something like that. You know, it says workers under the age of 20 and the first 90 days of employment. <coughs> related to the minimum wage. And of course, and Washington's minimum wage has two more hikes in it. Two. Mm -hmm. yeah. and 50. 50. So there and were provisions out for exemption. <coughs> so in Idaho, so so this is Idaho currently right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Washington is going to be paid at 85% of, of the minimum wage. So they do have these Save him. They can be paid sixteen dollars. Oh, this is Idaho. Oh, okay. Eighty-five percent of the minimum wage for up to twenty hours yeah. of working for certain employees. Workers under age twenty can be paid four twenty-five for up to ninety days, and employees who receive tips can be paid three twenty-five. But tips must add up to the minimum wage. Three twenty-five. I thought it was three sixty. Three thirty-five. Three thirty-five. Okay. Uh, that's they updated that version that this document and sent another one that with that three thirty five on it. Because there was a yeah. Also, Washington minimum wage is going to thirteen fifty by twenty eighteen, and they're also mandating that you give um, that you're able to accrue um, I think forty five hours of sick pay, so almost six days. So they're also so they're mandating that you also have to give. Um, mandatory sick days. Oh, yeah. So you can That's accrue right. up to a week and a half. So it's actually probably, you know, not substantially, but a little bit more than 1350 probably by another quarter, if you figure that in for every employee. Any okay. I have this thought. Um, Number four, we're addressing, should the state minimum wage be automatically linked to some objective measure like the consumer price index? Um, if we say linked to, um, I think we should say linked to MIT, because I, I have a feeling that um, um, they would, and what was, who was doing the other study? United um, Way. United Way. Yeah, study. Yeah, I think if we say linked to an average between the MIT and the United Way study. But then again, I found a wonderful study at um, UC Berkeley and um, dated 2014 and they never followed up on it. Exactly, and that was the point I think Julie made that not the, these studies aren't necessarily updated all the time, so we want to make sure it's linked to something that's updated at least annually. Yeah. And that's the four letter word that's up there, like the consumer price index. It doesn't oh. say the consumer price index. It says <laughs> like. But, and I think that's oh. where we put in something like uh, uh, linked to an index that is scientifically valid and updated at least annually. Yeah. Uh, th this will behind you, Scott. It seems like potentially having an average of two or three studies that were also updated annually it would could. help to prevent corruption within the organization that's producing the study. I mean, I don't know how conspiracy theorist that is or how careful we no. want to be, but you know, just saying it one institution, MIT, that really opens up for well who's running that institution? Well that's who's where the four letter word comes in. Who's at the house? Yeah. So potentially an average over yeah. two to three might <clears throat> be better. I mean this seems like the sort of thing that really needs to be studied by people who truly understand what right. these numbers mm -hmm. where they come from, what they represent. And mm -hmm. I certainly don't feel like, I know enough about it without doing a lot, lot, lot more research. So providing an open-ended consensus statement that says we back scientifically valid research that yeah. is peer-reviewed and is an average of it, you know, several, mm -hmm. that seems like the best response to that because... Yeah, we're not going to tell them no, how, right? how it yeah. should be done because yeah. Yeah. we're not a room full of economists. It, another thing, just taking from the Washington playbook, the other thing that they did is the reason they raised their minimum wage so drastically, because they're already pegged to CPI per the 1998 or 1996 when they started raising their minimum wage, mm -hmm. but they saw that CPI wasn't keeping up with how expensive the state was getting. So as far as linking that to an index that's scientifically valid and then 
pegging it to CPI, and then maybe citing something along the lines of how they are doing this in terms of uh, you know, what they did in Washington and what they're doing in California now, where they're seeing that some municipalities are kind of going out of control and how expensive it's getting to live but there. The so living. they're putting provisions in there to make sure that their living wage actually is able to keep pace because sometimes, CP, you know, linking it to CPI is a good idea, but it does need to be reviewed in terms of, yep. even, like, really major shifts, like, have happened in Washington. Maybe just to link it to CPI. It's always linked to this average of the living wage. I, I mean, sort of it needs to be linked to something so that it constantly goes up because wages, yeah. you know, More costs are not static. Yeah. Costs go up every year. So CPI increases throughout the year and living wage increase well, once annually? Because if it's set to the living wage, then it's always, it will continue to go up anyway. So why even have a CPI? Yeah. I, I think what, what, yeah. what we have to want to add yeah. some I mean, can you link to living wage and that's is that going to index it? That's that's my concern, I guess. So that it's not static. So they don't say, "Hey, it's 10:41 as of this year," and then next year they don't raise it because the CPI didn't change. Okay. Well, but the, the way the way um, we have it roughed in up here is um, this: um, Idaho state minimum wage should be indexed to a living wage determined by a scientifically valid method that is updated annually and incorporates inflation and things like that yeah and i think that'd be the updated annually scientifically valid determined livable wage that is updated annually well i'm hearing two averaging several sources oh just well i think that who had the idea of just step past that no it was pat saying um that four-letter word that is an index that is like the consumer price index. We don't have to, instead Be of that. saying like the you consumer price horse. index, we well. say a scientifically valid, annually updated <clears throat> um, living wage calculation. Right. Okay. It doesn't say index, it can be indices. It 